Hello there YouTube. It's been uh, several days since I made a video. Uh, so I have several updates on stuff that I've been working on. Um, <clears throat> first of all, the last video that there was a Glock, it went all bad. I had to take it all apart. Um, there is some several issues with these uh, uh, heating block uh, which is fill, full of filament inside so I decided to uh, buy an upgrade with a copper head uh, I'm just keeping this in case just in case for the cables or what's whatever um, anyways let's go on with the updates so as you guys might know I have the regular version the standard edition of the sprite extruder and the pro edition so what i found out is with the same settings everything uh, the same printer same settings same everything uh, when i print with the um, sprite extruder regular i was getting this do you see the lines on here this is like a, an over extrusion or something like that you don't see it on top but it's all the way around you get this so I was thinking yeah it's just over extruding I have to adjust the uh, uh, e-steps on the extruder but then I installed the pro pro version I didn't change anything on 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 the settings or whatsoever so you can see here the pro edition prints those lines almost are gone so you can see it here better so this is the standard sprite extrude this is the pro edition nothing has changed so when I print um, the same cube with the same um, STL file nothing changed you get these results so not sure what's different maybe the E steps are different on on, on the extruders but this is the different quality that I'm getting from the prints so I decided to leave the Sprite Extruder Pro on here um, I hope I won't get a clock uh, fingers crossed uh, then I started printing these this is um, an adapter for the uh, Xiaomi a uh, 3H filter which is here I'm gonna use this on my uh, laser packer 2 so this I printed um, and this one is also printed but uh, a failed print uh, I was getting clocks I don't know why but it wouldn't print as good so I stopped prints like around 70 percent of uh, uh, of the print and this one is finished product it's it came out really well i want to talk about the chep uh, really fast um, profile so this one was with the standard profile failed print this one is the chep's really fast profile uh, normally this takes around it says three hours it was two hours in maybe a little longer and it failed and it didn't come out as good as this one um, this one took around one hour and I think seven minutes around that and it came perfectly so I really recommend Chep's uh, super fast um, profile that you might need to adjust a little to work on your uh, sprite extruder but other than that it's a really fast really nice profile i've been printing two things with it this one also it was showing six hours print this one when i put the super fast profile of chep uh, it went down to i think one hour and 47 minutes which is really a big difference in in time and the quality is 
really acceptable i don't see any flaws or whatever it's just really nice i like it so it's a recommendation to use the chips super fast profile um, and also i can show you how this fits so this goes on here and you just push it in it's really snug so once it's installed you just use this uh, hose holder it goes in this way uh, the designer of this STL file didn't put make uh, make one that clicks in you have to glue it together he says or she but uh, I'm going to use a soldering iron just to make the uh, the connection uh, on these two so I can use the hose because the hose is a little small so I'm going to also uh, change this STL file I mean the model I'm gonna make it a little smaller so that I can put this hose on there and just use some uh, tape and uh, make it together um, other than that uh, let me see if there is anything that I can show because some people are asking me how to manual manually do the bed mesh I haven't done this myself I didn't have had the use to do it manually because it's working well so far let me see if there is an option for it on the pro firmware control no there bed trimming that's automatic homing auto build mesh Z prop wizard. Hmm. I don't see really an option to do a manual mesh. Z prop wizard. Let me see. No. Bed running move axis. So what you also can do to um, do a manual bed um, bed leveling is. You have to install a Z stop. You know, when you install the Z stop a limit switch, then you can just uh, uh, disable the sear touch for a while. It goes down, and then when it goes down to the uh, Z point, the stop point, you disable the steppers, and then you manually move this around, like you come to the left side. And then you see you put in a, a sheet of paper you see if it's um, touching the bed or not when it's just grinding a little on the paper uh, when you're using the knob then it's fine then you just move it around to the right side you do the exact same and then you do the exact same on the uh, right uh, upper corner and then the left upper corner but once you do this the other size when you come back to the left uh, the bottom side it will oh, again it will be unadjust so you will have to do it again do the same again same again same again I mean you do it like three or four times in a row eventually you will notice that it's all fine and then you come to the middle when you come to the middle you will see either it's really snug or it's really um, the distance of the Z is uh, too much um, if it's perfect then you're you're in luck no problem then you can leave it like that if it isn't then I'm afraid your bed is a little off uh, or your uh, the, the print bed sheet it might be anything so um, you just check it up if it's in the middle fine then you're also fine on the right sides on the on the bottom the corner sides because you already did that um, 
but it's a little fiddle because you have to install the Z uh, limit switch uh, because if you use the sear touch it won't go as far as um, no that you want to but then you can also after you do, do you do this you just take off the limit switch you disable it and then you install your CR touch again this is just to manually mesh it and use the auto uh, auto mesh uh, option so you have two times and um, it's more reliable because you use a manual and an auto bed level um, well I'm only using the automatic uh, mesh which is working really well for me uh, but there are some people that are complaining that some sides are really off and some sides are perfect because when they're making a first layer I, I also seen some uh, pictures and videos that this side is perfect for example and in the middle it just goes like the like the nozzle is too too far close to the bed and when it's too close to the bed you see these imperfections in your print um, and then you don't get this perfect first layer so this is the wrong one but uh, you can see here it's uh, it has no issues or whatsoever it's all perfect and this filament is really old so when it's printing this good it means that with a new filament it would have been printing really really well but I don't see any imperfection so I can't say it's it, there's a problem which is really nice to the touch as well so also install the chips of super fast firmware you will have no regrets but you have to fiddle around a little because it doesn't uh, uh, when I installed it the, the flow rate was like 90 and I'm using 100 uh, it works better for me but the uh, chips profile was 90 so try it up with with a 90 see what it's going on because you have to change it manually for your printer and your for your um, uh, needs all right uh, anyways guys thank you for watching this video I hope you liked it uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like the video and then uh, hit the thumbs up if you like the video hit thumbs down if you didn't like the video and uh, I'll catch you on the next time bye